Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Maximus Black. I am very excited today because we are starting a new series and new series are always fun, but this one I think everybody on the channel is going to appreciate. I am now going to be starting to collect retro video games. And as you can see behind me, uh, I have started that collection. I got a really big score yesterday, two of them, which I'm gonna be showing off here in the next couple of videos. Now before I do, I just wanna let everyone know that the way that the camera and stuff is set up right now is very temporary. Um, I'm gonna actually be building a set here. I literally just put these shells together. Actually, my wife put these shells together for me last night and it was like 2.30 in the morning by the time I finished. I wanted to get these videos done while I'm still excited uh, about the finds that I found last night. So in the future, uh, things are gonna look a little more professional, uh, but right now I'm just put on a camera, got my microphone, sitting in front of some soundproofing, and that's the show. But we will fix that down the road. So without further ado, yesterday I got two huge lots. Um, I will tell you guys what I paid for them. Um, I'm not 100% sure on what everything is worth. I priced up some games and stuff like that last night. But uh, let's just start right off the bat. The first lot that I got, I'll tell you the price at the end, but the first lot that I got was a CIB Sega Genesis Altered Beast. Now, when I, I shouldn't have said complete in box because uh, the Altered Beast is not actually in this box, sadly. Uh, I'm sure it won't be tough for me to find uh, Altered Beast, a really popular game back in the day, um, and I'll just add that into this collection. But what is really nice about this in particular is not only is the box in great shape, um, of course you've got some wear and stuff on the sides, but that, that's very, very common for old stuff like this. Um, the interior, as you can see, I'm not going to open up uh, in front of the camera, I took some pictures last night, but as you can see, this system is in near mint shape. Some of the stuff, uh, the connectors haven't even been taken out of the plastic yet. Um, so I don't even think that the system has been used. I'm 99% sure the guy who I bought it from said it was brand new, not used, and it looks to be that way. So this is a great find, guys. Um, I'm gonna be keeping this system for myself uh, because I picked up another Sega uh, as well that I can use for testing or to sell, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second. But this was a really, really awesome piece, and uh, I won't be getting rid of this. This will be a collector for me. Now. We got another Sega, and I don't know if you can see the price up there or not, but it says that it was $159.96 brand new. Um, I've got a second Sega. Of course, both of them are the 16-bit uh, graphics. Um, I don't have the add-on yet for the top of it, but uh, this is complete in box, and I will show you a picture of the interior as well. Also in phenomenal shape near new. Now this system has been used extremely lightly. As you can see, there's still plastics still in the box. I'm really excited about this pickup. Um, now that I have two Segas, I do have this one up for sale locally. Um, I have it up for 140 bucks, and I don't think it's going to be much of an issue to get rid of it considering the, uh, the fact that it is complete in box with the manuals, everything, uh, and the box is in great shape as well. So that was a, a really awesome pickup. Let's move on to the next item. All right, guys, next up, we have got the Atari XE. Make sure this is, I know the light's a little glaring there. The Atari XE in phenomenal shape, the box. Look at this. I mean, this is a really old system. It's in really good shape. Now, what is even sexier about this is this is complete in box, brand spanking new. Take a look at that. Never been touched, never been used. Um, wow, uh, I have this actually up for sale right now for 250 bucks uh, locally. And to be honest with you, I would, wouldn't care if this didn't sell. Uh, it's worth a lot more than that. They go for even more than this on eBay and they have sold for much more. Uh, basically, I am selling some of the stuff that I get um, to make a little bit of a profit so that I can continue to buy uh, more stuff that I want to collect. Uh, for those um, who, who weren't on my stream when I was talking about starting collecting, I'm really interested in getting a full complete in box set of Sega Genesis games. I just love the way they look, um, which I'll show you guys the games that I picked up yesterday. But I just love the cases. I love 
Um, the fact that they can't really be damaged all that, like you really have to throw a Sega case at a wall to crack it. Um, so they hold really well and they're just, they're just awesome to see on a shelf. Um, also collecting NES, uh, NES boxed and unboxed games. Um, Super Nintendo boxed and unboxed. And those are mainly the ones that I'm looking for. Um, and of course, I really, really like Sega Saturn. Um, love the boxes on those as well, but they do crack pretty easily. I don't have any Sega Saturn stuff yet. So when I find things like the Atari, um, although it is very sexy um, to hold on to this and just have it part of a collection, um, but right now, if I'm sure I could pick another one of these up at some time. Uh, I'm not really trying to sell it, but if it goes or I can trade it for something of a little bit more value to me personally, then so, so be it. You guys gotta understand that I am just starting this collection, so getting the stuff that I really want first is more important, and then having more completed sets down the road is something that I, I will work towards. But, like I said, uh, what an awesome find. So there's this, and I still have one more that I got in this package that's coming up in just a sec. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna be showing off the Odyssey 2. I have not seen this in person in my life. Uh, this was before my time. Uh, I've, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers and uh, people that collect games and stuff, and I've always seen this box, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Um, this here is, out of the lot that I got, it is in the worst condition, and I say that very loosely because this is still in phenomenal shape uh, considering the Odyssey 2 is a pretty, um, it's pretty rare to find one brand new or it just in mint shape. Um, and the one that I have, as you can see, is in pretty good shape, but it has been used um, probably quite a bit. Uh, this is something that I won't sell. I'm gonna be holding on to this for sure. Once again, the Odyssey 2 and I also managed to grab uh, eight games with it as well, and I'll show you guys the games that I managed to pick up very quickly. Uh, of course, all these are CIB. Uh, we've got Alpine Skiing. Hopefully the camera is is uh, is focused. Uh, Speedway, Spinout, and Crypto Logic. It's like a three-in-one game. It's probably gonna be out of focus up close, but there it is. Uh, UFOs, it's a UFO game. Uh, Alien Invaders Plus, which I think was a popular game back in the day, um, and looks to be because it's definitely the most worn out of all of the games that I have. And we have Cosmic Conflict, and uh, this game actually says that it was $42.50, wow. Um, Armored Encounter. Once again, guys, I'm gonna be working on my lighting and stuff like that, so that makes it a little easier to see. Um, Computer Golf. So, golf game. And Freedom Fighters. So, these are uh, the eight games that I got. Just a quick look at all of them there together. So that right there, guys, was the first lot that I got. Uh, we've got the Odyssey 2 in eight games. We've got two full CIB Sega Genesis. One of them brand new, not even used. The other one very lightly used. And we also got the Atari as well. Um, mint condition, brand new, not even used. Uh, I got all of that for 500 Canadian dollars. Um, that is uh, quite a quite a steal. Um, I could probably sell three of those items, maybe two of them, um, and uh, I say three of them, and safely get my money back if I wanted to. That's another thing um, about collecting is I'm not really in it to make money. Um, of course, I don't want to rip myself off. I'm sure that there is going to be times where I'm going to overpay for an item that I really want. Like, I really, really want a mint condition inboxed StarCraft 64 for obvious reasons. Um, for those who don't know, StarCraft changed my whole life. Uh, if you're new to the channel, played StarCraft full time for years and years, and that's where I got my start here on YouTube and streaming and everything else. Um, so that, and, and, and that was the very first version of StarCraft 
that I was introduced to uh, from my cousin. But I'll give you the whole backstory and stuff when eventually I get my hands on a copy of it. Um, but yeah, like I said, at 500 bucks, uh, I, and I'm not in this to make money. I'm in this to collect, to get a big collection. But of course, if I can flip games, make some cash so that I can buy more stuff that I'm gonna be, that I'm gonna have more use for um, and bring a little bit more nostalgic uh, memories back, then I will do that. But this here, guys, is the first part uh, to this week's find. I don't want to make these videos too long. Uh, they're not really going to be edited all that much. It's just going to be me talking about what I'm picking up. Uh, and uh, I will also do a second video right now. So when you're done watching this, you'll be able to go and watch the second part of, uh, of the find from yesterday. Let me know what you guys think about these videos. Uh, are you guys excited for these that I'm going to be doing every week? Sometimes it might be two or three times a week. It depends on what I find. Whenever I can find good stuff, I will make sure that I'll make a video. I'm not going to make a video for one or two games unless they're like crazy, crazy good. But uh, I'm going to at least try to do this every single week because I'm going to be going to yard sales and flea markets on the weekends. Um, there is a huge huge community yard sale happening this weekend saturday and sunday so me and a buddy of mine are going to go out and see what we can find so hopefully we'll have some good stuff for you guys coming up um yeah that's going to be pretty much it stay tuned for part number two we have got a lot more stuff to look at guys thank you so much hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course stay buzzed.